everybody, Dan Rubino here with Windows Central, and we're going over Windows 10 build 10565, just released to insiders. It's got a bunch of new features. We're going to go through those real quickly and show you what those are. Some pretty cool stuff if you're a user of the insider build, and this will, of course, go to the mainstream later on, probably November. Anyway, one of the main new features here is the messaging and Skype video preview. So now when you click one of these, it'll bring up messages. And if you use Windows 10 Mobile, you should be very familiar with this. It looks just like the messaging app. And as you can see here, I can bring up chats and basically converse with people. Uh, unfortunately, right now you cannot switch to phone number, which would be up here. It says send on Skype. But that feature is uh, believed to be coming to Windows 10. In fact, when I bring it up here, you can see switch number. However, it doesn't actually do anything. But you can see I can do things like mute conversation, delete conversation, select messages, and more. And there's also a call and video button right here. Uh, there's actually no difference between the functionality of these right now. In fact, what happens is it's going to launch the Skype video app. So if I do video right here, it's just going to try to call Mark. And you can see, uh, and it just crashed a little bit there. So there are still some bugs, but uh, overall, it's getting there. Now, what's kind of cool about this is it can be updated through the store. And there's a separate app, too. There's Skype video. So you can basically make direct calls on video to the person. Uh, and it's kind of nice. So you can just do this. And it's going to call directly. You can see now it's working again. So now it's going to call Mark on Skype. But he's not there to answer. Uh, for the most part, it's working pretty well on this Samsung device here. This is the T9. Uh, actually, the camera isn't working very well with that app, but that's probably just related to this device specifically. Another new feature we got here is in Microsoft Edge. There's actually a few new features. One of the big ones, of course, is browser tab preview. So as you can see, you have a few tabs open, and now when I hover over each one, it brings that little drop-down window. Nice little animation, too, and they're nice high-resolution. Uh, previews of what is on that tab. So if you use a lot of tabs, you'll definitely get a, an appreciation for this as you get to see basically a sneak peek of what's coming next. The other thing is if you use the uh, reading list feature, basically allows you to bookmark articles, but more like a library. So instead of just random bookmarks, it'll actually bring down articles. You can, of course, have always done this with reading lists, but now it should sync between devices. But of course, those devices presumably all need to be on the same build of 10.5, 6.5. One other new feature is you can pin people to your start menu. So as you can see here, I got Mark pins. So now if I click that, it's going to open up right to his contact profile here in the People Hub. And so you can see the little pin button right here. I can pin and unpin any contact I want. Once again, familiar feature for those on Windows 10 Mobile and Windows Phone, but now it is available on Windows 10 Desktop. One other change build 10.5.6.5 is for the colors in the taskbar. As you can see here, I got a green background, but I have a reddish pink color for my accents. So it doesn't really look too different, but what it is, this is much bolder and stronger looking. Before, it was sort of transparent looking, and now it's just darker. It's a small change, but to be honest, it actually looks really nice. Going to one other small UI change in this build, when you go to the Start menu and you right-click on any tile, you get now better graphics. So you can see here for resize, I have small, medium, and wide, but it also has a little graphic along with it. It's a small change, but it looks really nice. Also for mouse users, the menus now are more proportional to your display size. One other neat new feature in this build is for those with a Surface tablet and also have a pen. When you go to Cortana, you have this nice little icon down here. And when you tap, it's going to bring up this menu. So now you can do handwriting recognition for a reminder and Cortana will recognize it. So definitely a nice integration for those with a Surface and we like to see that stuff going forward. Throughout this build, there are also a lot of necessary bug fixes, including a big one for Groove Music. Previously, when you would play a tune and then minimize the app, it would actually minimize the sound as well. However, now we can get around that and continue to play our music in the background just as expected. There are lots of small changes in this build too that we're slowly discovering. One of them is found on the Cortana settings, and as you can see here, there's a missed call notifications option. And you can see here, it says, if allowed it on your phone, Cortana can let you know on this device when you miss a phone call. So that's pretty interesting. It doesn't work yet, of course, but it gives you a little idea of what's coming next. Finally, one other neat feature we found is located under System, Power, and Sleep, and this new option, Save Me Power When Cortana Knows I'm Away. 
So of course you can enable that and somehow Cortana will basically save you power. We're not exactly clear on what that does yet, so we'll have to dig a little bit further to find out more. We should also note that not all devices actually have this option. Our Samsung Ative did not, but our Surface does. So that about does it for Build 10565 for those on the Insider program. These are just the major changes, but of course there are a lot of smaller ones that we'll try to detail on this site over the next day or two. So head to Windows Central for more information, and if you have this build, tell us what you think. Take care, everybody.